What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am that props girl. Today we're going to do a little tutorial in how to make fake donuts. Now these are really great if you want a paperweight or if you need them for a prop or for decorative purposes or if you just want to have a bunch of fun with air drying clay. It is super easy and the end result is fantastic. So stick around because you don't want to miss it. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button as well as the button next to the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of my future uploads and with all of that said and done let's jump straight into the video I am so excited for this I've wanted to try this for such a long time so I got a donut uh, container pan from Kmart and this was really cheap um, so if you live in Australia that's a great option for you and I have my favorite Crayola air drying clay and I am basically going to just fill up I think I'm gonna do I'm not gonna do all six but I think I'm gonna do three donuts so I think I'm just going to knead out the clay and then pack it into this and then we'll set it aside to dry and because we're using the Crayola it's gonna take a couple of days and this is a pretty thick uh, structure as well but it'll look amazing when it's finished Okay, so to get these out of the tin, I just used the tip of a knife to wedge that out. Don't worry about that little crack in it. We're going to be painting over it anyway. And now I'm going in with this Raw Sienna by Joe Sonia's Artist Colors <laughs> and just covering them. bottom sides dry that dried really quickly I'm quite surprised uh, and I know the top is a little bit bumpy but we're going to be covering it in icing anyway so they are done and once they're dry we will do the icing different day different room but we are still continuing with the same video and these are now dry and now we get to decorate them so the first one that I'm gonna do is I want to do a glazed donut and so if you guys watch my fake pizza video then you guys would have seen me use this technique before and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some matte Mod Podge you can use gloss if you like I'm gonna take some white paint and mix them together now I want the ratio to be a little bit more Mod Podge than paint and that's the thing about uh, glazed donuts is that they look glossy if you don't have any Mod Podge you can also add in a gloss additive into the paint as well or you can use a satin finish paint but personally I think that this thins this out quite well a bit hard to tell because the paint is white and the Mod Podge is white but this is now done and I'm just going to drizzle this over the top of one of the donuts Now hopefully that one turns out the way we want it to. Fingers crossed it works. If you are enjoying this video, give it a like so I can know that you want to see more content like this, as well as hit that subscribe button and bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And leave me a comment down below as to what your favorite flavor of donut is. I personally love the pink ones best. Now I'm going to take some of my favorite wall filler and you guys have seen me use this a million times and I'm going to just mix it with the white acrylic paint to make it a little bit thinner and I only need a little bit this time because I'm we're only doing the top of the donut so I'm just going to go in and mix that together. I'm now going in with some fake sprinkles that I made a while back and don't mind my phone in the background I was filming for TikTok um, because I did a series on this on my TikTok so if you guys do want to go follow me over on TikTok uh, again it's at that props girl I'm 
That one's done and it looks fantastic. This one's still drying, but hopefully it will dry soon. Now, I thought I had footage of me actually explaining how I made the sprinkles to go on top, but I may not have remembered to press record on my camera. So if you watched my tutorial on making fake waffle cone ice creams, then you would have seen me do this. And what I did was I actually got some loom bands, which I cut up and I just got them in multiple colors. And these are literally just little tiny um, hair ties basically. So if you don't have loom bands left over from yesteryear, you can get little rubber um, hair ties or rubber bands. And I just cut them up really small and sprinkled them over the top. And I've been asked this question before as well as to what stops the rubber from rotting. And when I did my fake coconut video as well, I'd used the same technique and I covered the entire thing in Mod Podge. I did that in December. It is now nearly August and it is still fine. And I'll insert a clip here of it today. So the Mod Podge really does seal it in place. I'm not saying it'll be great forever, but for now, over six months, it's been fantastic. All right, now time to do our last one and we're gonna take the same wall filler and scrape it off the clay scraper there. And then we're gonna add in some pink paint because I wanna do a strawberry topping on this one. And I'm gonna do exactly what I did with the last one and just use the clay tool to just scrape over the top to make it look like icing. And I know that icing for donuts is normally a lot flatter, but oh well. Here are all three of them. Now these two look really good. I cannot wait till that one's dry and I'll catch you when they're all done. I love the way that these turned out. The pink one is still a little bit wet from the Mod Podge, but that will dry down clear. And I think that putting the chocolate stripe on the glaze one really has saved it as it wasn't looking too great uh, before I did that, but I really like the look of it now. They look great and I'm so happy with how they turned out. Although my first one did not turn out exactly how I planned, I know exactly what I did wrong. And so I just wasn't thinking when I, I poured the paint, but what you need to do with that is if you want to make it look like a glazed Krispy Kreme donut, you literally just need a drop, a drop of um, paint and then you mix in your Mod Podge and you, you can use a gloss on top as well and that would make it look like a glaze but I'm really happy with what I ended up doing in the end but just putting some chocolate stripes over the top and it still looks great so if I ever do make another donut I will try that and so head on over to Instagram and follow me over there because if I do a glazed donut that is where I'll be posting it I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you guys learned something be sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my future uploads and just a reminder to all of my creatives out there. You are more capable than you think and you can do anything you set your mind to. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.